What's up, you guys? Let's read some energy. For those of you who don't know, this is Nina. Hello, Nina. Look at her cute little tail. Look at that cute little tail. All right, let's read some energy. Uh, Ancestors of the High Twilight. What is the message? Somebody's having a glow up. Your light is growing brighter by the day. Um, I've also got the um, we've got the death card here, and we've got the ace of swords here. So it's like you might be receiving some divine guidance, okay? But there's a trans. I just heard a transmission. So definitely, I feel like you're receiving some divine guidance. But there was um, sort of, and now I'm hearing transmutation. So there was some uh, transmutation that was happening. Um, somebody's an alchemist transmuting some energy, some dark energy into love um, and light. Love and light, everyone. Um, continue to focus on seeing the good in all things. Um, you may have been seeing some darkness, I feel like, but it's time to lift your frequency, so to speak. All right. Um, yeah, you're receiving a lot of uh, divine guidance and that might uh, be through um, like creative um, or you have a lot of creative energy right now so um, there's something I feel like you've been wanting to give birth to or somebody's been wanting to give birth to and that is going to be coming into uh, fruition you guys remember that the um, the presence of love is the absence of judgment, okay? Um, if you, and if you are judgmental, that generally uh, is, an, is indicative of somebody being uh, judgmental of oneself, all right? So that's why it's incredibly important to um, integrate the shadow and just have unconditional love for yourself um, so that you are not judging yourself, but then also so that you can unconditionally love and, and not be judgmental towards other people, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so whoever you are, I feel like you are, um, I'm hearing a divine channel um, and an indigo. Okay, you're an indigo. All right. Um, you're, you're very authentic. Um, I feel like it attracts all sorts of different types of people, good and bad. And um, generally you speak truths to people. Um, and if they do not receive the truths, then that's not your people, right? And that's just somebody who kind of, you know, kind of came in and uh, maybe needed a message from you, right? So you can release your past is what I'm hearing. We have the high priestess here. So whoever you are, you are highly in tune, very, uh, very intuitive. Um, and I feel like you are very connected with your higher self. Um, and you live in a legacy of love. But of course, you guys remember also, um, um, I'm hearing duality. So um, it's okay sometimes to, um, to it's, it's important to honor feel other feelings that you have, right? But I feel like whoever you are, you always end up aligning with love, all right? And that's, that's the most important message here. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, somebody needs to have more faith um, and not be so controlling with regards to the unknown. It's just like, um, it's like there's a staircase that I'm seeing that somebody is walking up and they, they just need to, and as they're walking up the staircase, they are having anxiety about what's at the top. Okay. And it's just like, don't, don't look up at the top. I mean, you can, if you want to, but just take one step at a time essentially is the message that I am, um, receiving and, uh, have faith in this movement forward, um, and, and believe that you are worthy of abundance and, and you will fly. Okay. Hold on to your vision. I feel like somebody has a vision. Huh? I've got, don't let your pride get in the way as well. Why would somebody's pride get in the way? What does that mean? What does 
that mean? Oh, don't be too proud to know that we don't know everything, right? Um, I feel like you understand that though, okay? You've released some sort of a burden here with the Ten of Wands in the reverse position. Um, your life is going to be a lot less stressful because of this. You may have been feeling a little um, hopeless. Um, I feel like maybe somebody's been denying their gifts as well. And there's actually fear. Was fear surrounding their gifts, but by loving yourself unconditionally and by maybe somebody was judgmental towards you when you were younger for your gifts or maybe society at large is judgmental and, and somebody's a little insecure about that but i don't i don't think um but you know okay that i'm just gonna say it like that we're i believe in spiritual warfare and i believe that that's kind of what's going on right now but i feel like um there are a lot of people who are um being essentially like bullied out of being their authentic self just because having spiritual gifts and being extrasensory is so unorthodox and a lot of people are afraid of it because they don't understand it but the thing is is that the, the more that you open yourself up to it the more you're going to um represent a community that needs representation um and inclusion and every everybody is trying to um or I'm hearing like the indigos and all the light workers are trying to open up their gifts and carry their lights so that we can all find each other and, and I'm hearing creating a revolution, okay? Of sorts. Whoever you are, you are a master in your field. Um You're very ambitious as well with regards to whatever you set your mind to, you do it, okay? You're also very dedicated, um, and very passionate. You may feel like some seeds that you have been planting with the Eight of Pentacles here are like you're not seeing the fruits of your labor, but you will, is the message that I'm receiving, okay? What else for ancestors? Nice way, let me... There may have been a karmic cycle that has just ended as well. Um... And that's when you're going to start seeing the, and that's why you're going to start seeing the fruits of your labor, okay? Because uh, the ancestors didn't want to, well, generally speaking, our, our ancestors or the universe will not open us up to our abundance if there are, like, attachments or, you know, if we're in the middle of a karmic cycle to avoid attachments, right? Um, I feel like you may have been a little restless lately. I feel like you're receiving a lot of divine guidance um, when you are sleeping and in your sleep. So um, maybe light a candle before you go to bed. Remember to smudge your space. Also, um, you know, incense or white sage. I do have a, a, a little smudging ritual kit in my Etsy shop. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Um, and But I'm also hearing somebody might be a little too curious on the astral plane as well. So... Um, you know, make sure that you light a candle when you are, um, channeling and things like that. And, um, also I feel like, um, if you need a rest from, you know, the divine guidance that you're receiving and the messages that you're receiving, um, you can ask your ancestors and say, Hey, look, um, can I just sleep tonight, please? <laughs> I mean, I'm just very serious or like even give them a date like okay look I know that these messages are important but I really need to rest my physical body needs rest um so give me a few days please give me three days and then you can start you know giving messages again what else for your answer so I would like there's something that has been there's a passion project of sorts that has not been getting off the ground, so to speak, but it will. It is in the, in the process of happening, okay? Whoever you are, you have a lot of wisdom, and you're also very mysterious to people. Hey, that's cool. But like I said, I feel like you're going to start sleeping better. This is a DNA upgrade or something like that that's happening, okay? You're shifting timelines. 
Um, what else here? Anything else? Mm -hmm. Ooh, the lovers. And there might be new love coming in, too. Or just balance within yourself. You know, you're balancing out yourself. Uh, the duality within yourself, okay? So just take what resonates. Um, I think I'm going to leave the reading right there. I hope that you guys are doing really, really great. Um, hmm. Make time for uh, meditation and um, self-reflection, okay? Maybe somebody needs to get a journal as well. Okay, I'm sending you guys so much love. Thank you so much for being here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.